something big changed in our last round of ATV motocross. The points lead. Series champion Chad Weenan had to work his way from the back in the first moto at Unadilla, while Joel Hedrick got away ahead of a huge battle between Ronnie Higgerson and Jeff Rastrelli for podium spots. The moto win brought Hedrick one step closer to the points lead. When he got out front early in moto two, the battle was on, with Weenan trying to chase him down. Higgerson and Rastrelli went at it again for third, until Higgerson crashed and broke his machine. With a two-moto sweep, Hedrick has taken over the points lead and just two rounds to go. Can Weenan fight back? Here it comes. The championship heats up for the Weisco ATV National Motocross Championship sanctioned by AMA Pro Racing and presented by CST Tires. We are at Red Bud. People here know how to have a good time and host some great racing. And they're looking at the pros. You start with Nick Janusa coming on strong in the number 15, the veteran Joe Bird. Always good to see him out. And Team USA for the Quad Cross of European Nations. Thomas Brown showing off his Team USA regala. Parker Rewerka. Josh Upperman, he and Dylan Charmellon getting their machines prepped over at Root River Racing. Sammy Rowe on the 38. Sean Taylor with the 39. Wes Lewis and Brett Music handing out some autographs to the fans. Zach Kazmarek's machine, Cody Chanson, and Wesley Wolf. Ron Hankerson back. He was nearly on the podium at our last race. And Silas Lamons here too. So that's your pro field. Joel Hetrick signing some autographs and carrying the red plate today. Coming into the last two rounds, uh, my strategy would be I'm looking forward to getting a 1-1, but if not, split motos and we could split it the rest of the, you know, Loretta's in here. Uh, I would still win by five points and that would be great, you know, but I'm, I'm not coming to lose. I'm going to try everything I can and go out there and get a 1-1 here at Red Bud. And that would really give me a good cushion for Loretta's, uh, but you know, it's going to be tough. Chad's working hard. I'm working hard as well. You know, it's not going to be an easy battle tomorrow, but you know, I, I put everything into these races and you know, I'm looking forward to come out on top. Here's the man gunning for him, five-time and defending champion Chad Weenan. Yeah, the points chase is getting so close and uh, we're winding down. We got two rounds left and um, you know, the mindset you know, coming into this weekend is uh, go out and win as many races as I can and uh, I got to go win. So it's as uh, simple as that, but um, you know, I'm going to fight for every every position, every inch out there on the track and, uh, you know, try and push Joel and uh, if he's out in front of me, I'm going to try and push him into mistakes and, um, you know, try to not quite get in his head, but like in the past, uh, he's had the red plate and he's made mistakes at that race that he had the red plate. So I'm going to try and really, really pour it on this weekend and uh, maybe make him ride out of his comfort zone. But, you know, all in all, I'm going to focus on what I got to do and uh, I got to go out there and get a good starts and uh, win these races. So. Ah, seems strange to see Weenan's machine without the red background. Can he get it back here at Red Bud? It will start with qualifying. We'll cover it next. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Weisco, by CST Tires, by Amsoil, and by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Let's get things rolling here at Red Bud. CST tires qualifying. There is Chad Wayne, and he is up against the wall. Has to win today to really have a good shot against this man at our finale next week at Loretta Lynch. Here's Joel Hedrick on the 88. That's his traditional number, supporting the Bartosic family. Woo, look at that. Jeff Rastrelli hanging it out. Here's Thomas Brown. Lighten it up as well. And Nick Janusa through the rollers and over the big uphill triple. Man, Sammy Rowe. This track is so fun to watch. Parker Wawerka here, styling, throwing that thing sideways. Ronnie Higgerson, Wesley Wolf, Sean Taylor. Does this not look like a fun place to come out and ride? Wow. Come get you some, everybody. Let's give you the results of this qualifying session. 
as Dylan Tremellen pounds it through the sand. Silas Lavins over the top. And Brett Music dropping down as well. There's Joe Bird. Yeah, so here are the results. Weenan does what he needs to do. ATBRiders.com Fast Qualifier Award over Hetrick. Here's the rider that can get in between these two and score some points. Jeff Rastrelli. Hey guys, Jeffrey Australia here at Red Bud. Uh, one of my favorite tracks. I mean, pretty much everybody's favorite track. If you ever been here, you know why. And uh, super pumped to be here. Super pumped to try to get on the podium here. Always a great place to ride and, uh, you know, just finish well. And being on the podium is our number one goal. So uh, we're looking to uh, go out and finish well and uh, compete with these front lead, these front guys. You know, they're running for this championship, but uh, that has nothing to do with me. And I'm going to go out there and just try to win some motos and uh, put together an overall. What can Chad Weenan do today? Can he step up with the pressure on, win the moto, and try to take the points lead back from Joel Hetrick? ATB Motocross is brought to you by Weissco, by CST Tires, by Amsoil, and by Rocky Mountain ATB MC. Time for Weissco moto number one here. Nick Janusa on the Chen USA machine getting ready. Jeff Rastrelli, as always, carrying a Rocky Mountain ATV MC helmet cam. Let's go racing. Oh boy, Hedrick, a whole shot. Got up on the bicycle there, two wheels. Settles it back down. And Rastrelli right behind him. And I'll tell you, Rastrelli is, no, that's actually Upperman. My bad, the 20, I thought it was the 28. So he's right there. Rastrelli is third. Upperman always a great starter. And Rastrelli has been lightning quick on the first laps. But Man Hetrick got what he needed. A start when he needed to get one. Here is Rastrelli. Is that. Yeah, Upperman still there on his left. Can he make this pass work? A nice split section. And he does. You can see him with the red gear. So Rastrelli has quickly got the second, and like I said, he is mega fast on the opening laps. Where is Chad Weenan? Fourth place. This is what they call the Monza turn. Normally a real high speed one, but there are rollers and whoops right through the center of that turn. And what did I tell you, Rastrelli, quick on lap one. I think he's actually closed up a little bit behind Hetrick, and now he's trying to challenge for the lead. Do the Millville style sand rollers. And this big table. Battle is on right now. Rastrelli has no friends in this game. He just wants to win motos. Doesn't want to help or hurt Weenan or Hedrick. It's LaRocco's leap, biggest jump out here. Upperman through the rollers. And we're going to complete a lap here. And the position just got stolen away. So Chad Weenan quickly up to third. But he's got his work cut out for him because these two kids are flying. One out of Pennsylvania, one out of Florida. Ween and the big band from Galena, Illinois. Hedrick, they call his team Phoenix Racing in the pits. It is officially the Liquid Wrench Elka Maxis Honda team. Here's the uphill floater. He's able to keep that gap now stabilized with Rastrelli. Let's see if Weenan can close in. I cannot believe how rough this section is. Okay, a little bit smoother down on the inside. So many amateurs raced on this track and this sandy soil. This thing is brutal. Looks like Janusa trying to make a move on Upperman. They actually touched wheels in the rollers. Got scary for a second. Listen to that. Machine just getting bogged down in this sandy soil. This is native sand. There's a huge sand pit out in the back of this facility. Tim Ritchie, he and his sister Amy, who run this place these days, their parents actually started it. Uh, Tim brings in a lot of sand, and it has led to this almost perfect soil condition. And that's why the riders love racing here at Redboat. And I'll tell you, Hetrick loves it more than anyone. He has got the drop. He has started to pull away from Rastrelli, upper mid. Back here and forth, still battling with Janusa. And Janusa finally makes it stick there on the number 15. 
See Weening closing the gap a bit on Jeffrey Rastrelli for second. And this battle is starting to materialize. Weening on the Weening Motorsports SSI decals, Yamaha, Walsh Racecraft Machine, and he just put it on that inside line. Well, that's where Rastrelli needed to be. So that's what Weenan needed, a quick pass, Did not lose too much time back there, and he has time to go after the leader. Meanwhile, Thomas Brown trying to squeeze past Upperman. Great racing here early at Redbud. Stay tuned. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Weisco, by CST Tires, by Amsoil, and by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Joel Hetrick continues to lead here at the Red Bud ATV Motocross National. He's got the points lead. Wow, that is full commitment through that section, just hanging off the back, and as they say, letting it eat. Jeff Rastrelli is back in third. He got passed by Chad Weenan. Can Weenan close the gap on Hetrick? Not so far. And a track like this with the sandier soil and these rollers, that could work to Weenan's advantage. He has always been fast on those types of tracks, got those long legs. But Hetrick pretty darn quick through there. And you can see he's got a nice gap over Weenan right now. So Hetrick trying to make history. You're looking at a five time and defending champion with the number one of Weenan. Hetrick looking for his first title. He's come all the way through from the youth and uh, mini cycle ranks all the way up to the pros. He's won a lot of races. You see uh, Ronnie Higgerson off to the side of the track, two tough motos in a row for him. Although he's been showing some great speed. But Hedrick looking for the cherry on top of what's already been a great career, but he wants this championship. And this would be a huge step if he can hang on for this moto win. And I've got to say, I think he actually extended the lead just a bit, even when Chad Weenan got to second. And Weenan has always had the consistency game mastered. Well, I shouldn't say always. When he was coming through the ranks, just like Hetrick, he was the one that could win races, but also had his share of problems. But once he dialed in the consistency, and listen to the fans here, sharing a nice ride for Hetrick. Once he dialed in the consistency, he has been nearly impossible to stop. But as Ron Borber, our third place rider, Rastrelli, Hetrick might finally have the answer. But look at Wien, and he's proud back there. He keeps digging. Hetrick has backed it down on the final lap, though, I believe. Checkered flag coming out. Two turns to go. There's one of them. Joel Hetrick wins again. First photo at Red Bud is his. Talking to Rodney Tomlin. He didn't seem to look that winded up there. We'll get ready for moto number two. Chad Weenan and Thomas Brown discussing probably gate pick and line choice. Oh, there's our buddy Johnny Gallagher, the GNCC rider here, talking to Jeff Rastrelli. Got the onboard with Josh Upperman as well. Let's go. And Joel Hedrick does it again. Two SSI decal whole shot awards, and Rastrelli is tangled up with Rewerka. And Chad Weenan is back there as well. So it's up to Thomas Brown now to try to help out his buddy and fellow Yamaha rider, Chad Weenan. He's got to try to stop Joel Hetrick. But what can you say about Hetrick? You talk about clutch coming out and getting two hole shots today. The speed is there. He needs to put the puzzle pieces together, and he's doing exactly that. This puzzle is held together like glue right now. So Thomas Brown and Upperman are the next ones in line. And look at Brown. He is indeed challenging Hetrick. All over him for the lead right now. Haven't seen this type of good start from Brown in quite some time. We got a tough Texan there. And we'll see what he can do with it. Upperman on the Root River Racing ride. Crossing over the split section giving us a first-hand look at the leaders. This is Brown's opportunity. Wants his first photo win of the year. He's down to the inside. Oh, now he's going to be the outside, and Hedrick just edges him out. But nice riding here by Thomas Brown. He is so determined. He wants to win for himself. 
like I said, it would be a nice boost for Weenan, and Weenan has gotten up to fourth. Hedrick trying to pour it on here and getting a, get away now. And he's doing it. So that was a lap or so of Fury from Brown. He's still in contention, but not quite in striking distance. And if you're Josh Upperman, I've got bad news for you. You know Chad Weenan is coming. Wow, and so is the 15 of Janusa, who almost crashed. Over the big tabletop. Hetrick pulling away. Upperman now under fire from Chad Weenan, and the big man gets by. All right, Weenan is going to have to get desperate now. He's in third. His primary title rival, the new points leader, is up front. Can the man of the number one do anything with him? Oh, and Nick Janusa following him through. Stay with us. ATP Motocross is brought to you by Weisco, by CST Tires, by Amsoil, and by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Joel Hetrick powering up and over this uphill triple here at Redbud. Jeff Rastrelli, he's got the Rocky Mountain ATV MC helmet cam totally covered, getting roosted by the nine of Rorka and now down. So one of those split lanes just cost him big time. Rough day at the office now for Rastrelli. And that's the type of mistake that Chad Whedon has to hope inflicts itself upon the 88 of Joel Hetrick. Look at the cap, Hetrick has opened up here. Man, he is on fire. Whedon is all up to Brown now. So the fight is on for second. Down the big ski jump we go. Root River Racing Pro Motorsport CST tires. Yamaha four. Brown and he just got sacked. Weenan has gone around for second. But can Weenan catch Hetrick? I don't know if he can do it on lap time. He's gonna have to hope for a mistake. Because Hetrick's got a nice gap right now. There he is. All the way down to the bottom of that Monza turn. Now the big tabletop separates one side of the track from the other. Through the rollers. A little steep bounce to get all the way over that table for Hetrick. Let's see Weenan. Same thing, down on the seat. Compresses that Yamaha, brings it over the top. But right now, Joel Hetrick answering the call. And as Weenan alluded to a little bit at the top of the show, Joel has been fast, but he has usually had to ride without the points lead the last couple of years. So he'll start the year off with a bad race or two, and then Weenan is in protect mode, and Hetrick can just let it fly. This was his opportunity to show what he could do with the points lead. Oh, man, Jeff Rastrelli, more problems. And this is big because he and Thomas Brown are fighting for third in the series standings, and Brown running third in this moto. Going to make up a ton of points on Rastrelli, who's had a crash. And now it appears like some mechanical issues. Hetrick over the table again. There's Weenan. And the fans come to life again. One lap to go. These are some of the biggest laps of Joel Hetrick's career because they could all be part of the journey toward finally getting this ATV National Motocross Championship. We'll find out next week, Dirt Days at Loretta Lynn Ranch. But right now, the young Pennsylvanian is putting in championship style rides. Chad Wienan's trying to stop him. But Hedrick is beginning the starts. He's been avoiding the big mistakes. And we all know he's fast enough to get it done if he can do those things. Weenan's digging to the final lap. He continues to close, but time is up. Joel Hedrick, 1-1 at Redbud. Brown third overall, let's talk to them. 
Just finished up Moto2 here at Red Bud. Uh, brought home the 1-1 today. Started off with uh, second qualifying. We made some big adjustments to the bike. Uh, Jay Goble and Doug Roll with Elka Suspension really got that thing working awesome today. The track was brutal here at Red Bud. You know, I worked through it. Uh, two starts, Dasa motor was ripping today. Max's tires gripped off the line. Everything was clicking. I felt good and it just I brought home the win again. Uh, I think we're 11 points up now, which is a, a big gap going into Loretta's and I'm always good at Loretta's. I've had good finishes, so I'm excited to be there and finish these last two motos up and hopefully stay on top and get this championship. All right, finishing up here at Red Bud, 2-2 uh, two, two on the day, top qualifier. Uh, I just struggled on the gate today and uh, man, that's just the way it's been. Um, you know, Joel's been killing those starts and you know, I'm, I'm happy with the way I rode. I just uh, just needed to get out there and uh, not have a you know four or five second gap right away and have to, have to make that up. And, just uh, hat off to my Wiener Motorsports Yamaha team and everybody uh, working so hard, and um, you know we're gonna push on to push on to Loretta's and uh, you know try and uh, try and put this thing together. See what happens. We'll see you guys there. Win uh, four three for third overall, and uh, I mean I just tried to ride a smooth, consistent race. I kept waiting to see where Jeffrey was. I was looking for him, and I saw him on the side track. So I'm, I'm bummed for that because I wanted to battle with him, but it really tightened up our points race. So going into Loretta's, it should be. Uh, Probably who be two at this point because he had a good gap on me and now we should be pretty tight. So really looking forward to Loretta's one more round and hopefully uh, sealing up third on this championship and you know just hopefully maybe getting a win there would be great. You know it's been a, a year since almost two years now since I've gotten a win. So I'd really like to get that uh, done and accomplished. I got my first win there. Hopefully I can get this win this year. Yeah, nine points now between Rastrelli and Brown in the fight for third. Here's your Amsoil race recap. Hetrick the whole shot in Moto One. Good racing behind him. But he's eventually able to slip away from Rastrelli and Upperman. Here comes Chad Wayden through. Gets around Upperman. Would eventually get past Rastrelli, and he dug deep. But there was no stopping Joel Hedrick in this one. And there was no stopping him in Moto2 as he grabbed his second SSI decals whole shot of the day. Big pressure applied early by Thomas Brown. Here's Wayden working his way forward. Jeff Rastrelli, a crash. They would have some mechanical problems after that. Wienan would eventually push his way past Brown for second, but could not close the gap on Hetrick. Now it is an 11-point lead for Hetrick, heading into Loretta's. Can he win his first ever pro title? Find out next week for everyone at Racer TV. Thanks for watching, and congrats to our podium at Redbud.